Hello and welcome back. So that was a little jam which is going to be the foundation of a new track that I'm working on and I thought I'd do a little breakdown video because it uses a technique which I think is quite an interesting and useful one when you're working with short sequences. It's called polymetric sequence modulation, well that's what I'm calling it anyway, and it's basically the principle that you can pick a parameter for a voice which affects the sound of it, whether that's filter cutoff, whether it's envelope decay, or any other parameter you like that affects the sound, and you create a sequence for that modulation which is of a different length to the sequence which is playing the notes. And that way, each time that sequence loops around, the modulation is slightly different and they only line up at whatever the common denominator is. So for example, if you've got a five note bass sequence and you have a three step modulation sequence, then every 15 steps they'll come back into alignment. But it means that as that bass sequence loops around, each repeat is slightly different until they line up. Let me show you what I mean. So in this patch, I've got four main elements. I've got a bass voice from harmonic shift oscillator. I've got a melody kind of loop from Odessa. I've got some chords from nano rings in Easter egg mode, and I've got some drums. Uh, and I'll sort of go through each of them in turn. So let's start with the bass voice. That's coming from Harmonic Shift Oscillator by New Systems Instruments. And if you're interested in that or any of the other New Systems Instruments modules, then check out my last video where I did a big deep dive into Harmonic Shift Oscillator, Inertia, Babel, and the Quad LFO. For this patch, I've got Sequencer 1 in the BeatStep Pro. The pitch information is going into the oscillator. The gate is going into this mult and it's feeding two things. It's feeding the envelope, which I'm generating with Inertia. That envelope is affecting the harmonic level in the oscillator and it's opening the Optimix LPG. Then I'm also taking a copy of that gate into stages, which I'm using as a three-step step sequencer. So if I pull the modulation out for a second, this is how the bass voice sounds without the stepped polymetric modulation going on, just the basic bass line. So it's just these five steps you can see in the sequencer. And that envelope is affecting the harmonic level, which is giving it that little bit of harmonic bite at the start of each note. It's opening the LPG, dead simple kind of bass sound. Now, if I take the stages output into the harmonic stride input, and if I just take the clock for that sequence out for a second and put it into a manual gate so I can step through. So the first step of the sequence I've got basically set to zero. So this is just playing as I've got the voice set up. If I go to the next step, this fader here is adding a bit of harmonic stride, which is affecting that spectrum. You can see on the scope of the wave. And then the next step, if I skip to that, it's different again. So between these three steps, I've got three different kind of harmonic states for this bass voice. So zero, that, and that. And then if you set that to skip through the steps with each note, you'll see it's cycling those three steps and it's cycling through five notes, which means every repetition is slightly different except they line up every three bars, basically. So it's a nice way to kind of get a bit of variation to that bass line. Let's move on to the second voice, which is the Chaos Devices Odessa. That's their digital additive oscillator. It's super complex, lots of different parameters to modulate, but I basically just picked one that works quite well. And I'm using the same kind of idea. I've got um, step eight from Geranalog, the, the new stepped sequential tracking register, step sequencer, uh, multifunction powerhouse, um, which I'm using to generate a four step sequence and I've got a five note sequence in the Beat Step Pro and Sequencer 2. Let me just pull the modulation that I've got going into it, turn the partials down. The sequence basically sounds like this. So it's just these five notes. That first one's just held slightly longer. The envelope is the looping VCA DSR from Danny Sound, just using the IntelliJ VCA. Again, no filters or anything else in the chain. I'll just bring up the spectrum. We get this nice kind of nice twinkly digital sound and what I've got going on with step 8 if I just pull this out and take this in I'm modulating the harmonic factor in Odessa which again is not doing that much on this first step and if I, if I step through manually it has this kind of octave shifting effect and up another harmonic series step and again, if I take a copy of the gates, which, feeding, which is feeding the uh, envelope, and put that into the step input, I now have these four steps 
cycling through while it cycles through a five note melody so every 20 steps they'll line up again four times five but it gives you this nice bit of variation now i've also got a couple of lfos from the quad lfo from new systems instruments going into the density and warp just with a tiny smidgen of modulation there just to keep it sounding a bit more interesting and the other thing I did in this voice in the jam was to shorten the sequence down from one bar slightly. Which gives us a nice bit of polymetric variation with the main rhythm of the drums and bass. So let's bring the bass line back in. So we've got a kind of 7-8 part from Odessa against a 4-4 part from the bass line, which gives us a nice bit of variation because all the notes are quite sympathetic and work quite well together. So the other melodic element in the jam was from Nano Rings, and that's just set to Easter egg mode, and I'm using the Moskwa from Chaos Devices to sequence a, a very simple four-step chord, and I was switching between two different poly modes on rings to give us a couple of different variations on those chords. That basically sounds like this. So this is with the red poly mode. Nice kind of open fifths. And then if I switch to the middle poly mode, we get these kind of richer chords. And there's not too much going on with this. I've basically got an LFO from Ocht going into the brightness with a little smidge in there just to give a little bit of variation. Otherwise, it's going straight in in stereo. I'm adding a couple of effects in the computer in Ableton. And that's kind of it. And finally, I'll just talk through the drums very quickly. The rack is off screen, but I'm just using um, a kick drum, which is an 808 kick. That's the 808 snare doubled up with the 909 clap. These are all tip-top modules. I'm using the 2HP hat module. And I'm actually running that through the Expert Sleeper's Beatrix phaser for a little bit of subtle phasing. That's what these blue wires coming in here are, are doing. Then I've also got a clave and cowbell. And the main pattern just sounds like this. And I'll just bring it all back in. So there you go, between those two sequences with a bit of polymetric modulation going on, got the foundations here of a nice track which I'll take into Ableton, I'll do some more work with, add some other parts. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you've enjoyed the video. As usual, give us a like and a subscribe. Tell your friends about it. I'll be back soon with more, and thanks for watching.